Welcome back. Earlier this year, Tesla released their vision-based parking assist system that allowed suitable Teslas to auto-park themselves in parking lots and streets by just simply leveraging their vehicle's camera systems and no sensors. Overall, the release was a great success. Uh, while the parking was a bit slow, it was safe and accurate. In subsequent updates, the assist has become smoother and faster. What I wanted to test today is how ready, or cyber cab like is the auto park. By far, people can usually park their vehicles faster than Tesla's auto park. However, if the speed of Tesla's system has increased enough, it would be used definitely a lot more than before. And more importantly, be a viable parking system for a fully autonomous vehicle, which is really Tesla's goal. Today I'm not going to test or say that Tesla's auto park is as quick as humans, but ascertaining whether or not this is a viable parking technology for autonomous cars. It has to be safe enough and fast enough to achieve this. I'm going to do 14 parking tests for you today and let you be the judge. Finishing off the first test, I'm going to park at a relative standard point for these uh, parking scenarios. Everyone parks a bit differently, but this should give you an idea of how smooth and quickly Teslas can park themselves right now. And you can see from that first parking there, it was just over 29 seconds, which, you know, seems a little bit long. You know, if you had asked me before how long it would be, I would have thought maybe 20 to 25 seconds and it came in at 29. Again, not every scenario is going to be the same. It's got to take into account which vehicles it's parking next to, what angle uh, it's approaching at, how close those vehicles are to the line, and it's going to have to then make adjustments there. You can see right now this car here uh, in this parking scenario, we've had to forward a little bit. You can see it's going in nice and straight there, but it had to do a little bit of an adjustment. Take a look at the camera there, coming in nice and slow, but nice and straight as well. And finishing off though, at just over 36 seconds. So that one was pretty long. So uh, we're gonna try some other scenarios and see what it comes in at. And you can see the car is moving forward just a little bit just to adjust itself. And again, if I had stopped the car a little bit more forward, it would probably just do one quick reverse in. Uh, but I'm not trying to make it easy. I'm trying to do what would be a typical stop position for, for many people uh, who will adjust by going forward and then reversing in at times. Again, you can see now this time I don't have vehicles parked on either side. So it went in much smoother and much more quickly, just over 25 seconds, which is expected. So I did a good job there. You know, a lot of people could make comments saying, well, you know, this this system is just not ready yet. I can go and park it myself at 17 seconds or 14 seconds or 10 seconds. But realistically, you know, if you think that this is a, a cyber cab or, you know, maybe it's the system where it drops you off in front of the mall and goes and parks itself. Do you really want it going and racing down and then, you know, reversing like a bat out of hell and getting it done in seven seconds? That would probably freak everyone else out. So considering where the technology is, it's doing a pretty good job. That one was just over 24 seconds. The most important thing, again, is it's got to be super smooth and it's got to be safe, considering that you're going to be parking around a lot of other vehicles and a lot of people are going to be watching and wondering what the heck is going on. All right, taking a look at the camera here. Now, yeah, here one, this one is going to have to go and it's going to have to go and adjust this one. It's going to have to go a little bit forward, which again is typical for many people. Again, you might be a great parker and you can get it perfect every single time, but this kind of replicates something that's a little bit more accurate. Um, again, depending on where you stop the car and the angle it comes in is going to determine if it's going to have to go forward and adjust. As you can see, this was probably the longest one we're going to have on this, just over 38 seconds. So yeah, you know, that might be bordering on a little bit too long, I would say there, but it was smooth and safe. Can't say anything bad about that. Okay, we're going to re reverse into the right side right now. You can see the, the wheel there doing some fine adjustments there. Again, we've only got a car parked on one side, so it should do it nice and smooth this time. I would expect that this one would do it probably in around 26 seconds or so. All right, doing the quick adjustments there and finishing off. Yeah, well, there you go, just over 28 seconds. So I think you're seeing a bit of a theme here. You're kind of getting a sense of how long it takes to, to park. So be interested in hearing your thoughts. Uh, we're gonna adjust it again, and we're gonna do another spawn here. Oh, as you can see, it went a little forward there. As I said, it was going to struggle there with that reverse. Now, we got some cars that are parked here behind us at some weird angles. You see that car in the back there? It's, <laughs> it's kind of stopped there perpendicular to us. So that might have thrown off the, the parking system a little bit. I'm keeping my eye on that vehicle just to make sure it's not going to go and, like, reverse into me. You can see it's on a really funky angle there. 
but uh, it's doing well considering that there's a car parked vehicle at a weird angle we got some uh, other vehicles that are around us you know adjusted and did that very well 34 seconds taking a little bit of time but did it very safely all right now we are going to go over to uh, another mall and check it out simple right reverse and we parking between two SUVs now so there's not much not much viewing space you can see how it look in the camera there these trucks it's really tight being very very careful but it's doing a very very good job with it great job 27 seconds can't complain about that you can see I'm just driving around trying to find all different types of uh, vehicle makes here okay you can see there it's moving forward to get the proper angle now let's see if it can go in one fell swoop on the reverse take a look at the wheel fine adjustments great job and this is really a typical parking scenario here this will give you a good idea and finish up hey just over 24 seconds that's probably one of the best ones it did so far All right, again, we're going to try to park. Oh, let's see, we've got this vehicle here that's in front of us. <laughs> nope, we're going to park. You're going to have to wait, buddy. Again, we're going to be doing it between two vehicles. Now there's a key thing for, like, the cyber cab. Again, it, it can't be too slow. That way it would hold up vehicles like that white one in front of us. And it it was going pretty good. You see there, it's doing some fun. Now, you know what? It keeps going back. Look at the camera here. So I'm actually going to disengage here. I was a little bit concerned that it was going to go hit the curb behind me. So you're going to see I'm going to go behind the car and take a look. And actually, there was more than enough space there as well. So I, I guess I should have trusted the system. But I was looking at the screen there, and it looked like it was getting really, really, really close to that curb. But there was still a little bit of space there. So uh, it did a good job with that. So see, I want to park here where there's lots of pedestrians and lots of vehicles. Okay. You can see that car there on the right, it's parked at a bit of a weird angle. So we're going to see the uh, angle of attack going in here on the reverse. And we're going to see if it's going to have to do any fine adjustments and go forward. Nice and smooth there. No issues with that car going by as well. Again, it's doing it nice and deliberately. And go 25 seconds. So it'd be interesting to see if you had uh, placed a bet on how long you thought it would take at the beginning of this video uh, for the average parking time. You'll have a good sense of it by now. All right, let's try another one. Okay, again, mm -hmm. moving forward for the adjustment to the angle. All right, good job. Okay. Mm -hmm. Nothing jarring there. Now it's going to have to adjust. It's getting a little bit too close there, mm -hmm. which is fine. Again, this is going into an autonomous system. It's, you don't care because chances are you might not even be in the car at this time. You just want it to be safe. So 33 seconds. It'll be interesting to see in further updates uh, how much faster this gets actually. Again, I don't, I don't expect that it would get too much faster than what you're seeing now. Again, what you're seeing is, you know, I'm kind of parking at or stopping at some, you know, weird spots here. So it's not optimal, but that's fine. It's, uh, that's real life. You're not always going to stop in the most optimal position when you start your reversing maneuver. Now this one I thought would have been a little bit faster. 29 seconds. I didn't have any cars behind me. I think the guy was in the vehicle wondering why I was doing a reverse park where there are no cars around me. Let's try a couple more. You're getting a good sense of how auto park works here on Teslas. You can see, when you have these vehicles that are parked very close to the line, Tesla will, or the auto park system will find a nice optimal position within the lines that you have, 26 seconds. So there you go. 
So after 14 parking attempts, the average parking time was 29 seconds. This may seem long, but if you look at all the videos, you can see that if the car was positioned optimally when it started parking, you could probably finish the parking in around 24 seconds. More importantly though is that it was very safe and I was never concerned at any time that I was going to damage my car or anyone else's. Part of this fully autonomous future is having a safe and reliable parking system, which Tesla definitely has now. I think this is more than ready for the CyberCab, but I'm hoping for some slight speed improvements in the future. Let me know your thoughts. Again, you may not think it's usable for you if you know you have thousands of hours of parking experience and you can probably reverse park in half the time. You may think it's painfully slow, but I'll say this, it's safe and it's ready for the future.